Hi, good morning and happy tip time Wednesday today. Okay, so I've shown this trick before, but I wanna show it again using palette one and show how easy it is to create this very look and how quick it is. I'm not even gonna use quick time. Now, I haven't put any other makeup except for primer and sunscreen on my face, but I wanna show you what you need to start this process is some tape. Hi, Abby. Um, scotch tape, painter's tape might work good too. You're gonna just put it at the angle of your face, almost kind of like where the your um, your outer um, crease, not crease, your outer um, lids connect and your eyebrow. Forgive Abigail. Okay, so we are gonna use palette one, which is the gorgeous browns to create this super easy smoky eye. Um, what I'm gonna use first is the color Elated, which is our lightest color right here. And I'm literally, watch how fast this is. I am going to apply this all over my eye really quickly. I don't know if y'all can hear Abigail purring, but I can hear her purring right next to me. This crazy girl. Okay, next I'm gonna use my deluxe brush and I'm gonna use the color Chipper. Now I have hooded eyes, which means that you can only see a little bit peeking out from um, my eyeshadow when my eyes are open. Those are called hooded eyes. So I need to make sure I'm gonna apply this all over my lower lid and I'm going to raise it above my crease a little bit here and just blend it well. And you're gonna use a little finagling with this, so just work with me. Okay, what this tape is gonna do, you're gonna watch. It's gonna create the most amazing sharp line. Okay, next I'm gonna use Forthright. Now, for my girls who don't like sparkle, none of these shades have sparkle. If you like sparkle, of course you can add that. Now, Forthright is the darkest. So I'm going to press that in with my crease brush, actually, and I'm gonna press that in really dark onto my lid. Can you see? Okay, so, see, I can need, I need to go back now and go back. I'm gonna use a little bit of Forthright and I'm gonna blend up a little bit more in that crease area so make sure that it matches the other eye. You need to make sure you're looking at your eyes while you're doing them. Does that look about right? Okay, so I'm gonna go back using my crease brush and I'm gonna go underneath my eye all the way to the inner eye, okay? And then what I'm going to do is take my brown liner, go in my waterline right here, it goes on so smoothly. I'm just gonna trace a little bit right here of my top of my liner. And girls, watch this. Oh, yeah, you right. Look at that nice sharp line. You can blend it out a tiny bit with your finger. And of course you may need to do a tiny bit of touching up to fill it in properly, but how cool is that? Helps prevent all that fallout that you get with your eyeshadow. I always do my eyes first. I'll do another video about why I do that, but I'll go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, my blush, my bronzer, my lips, and of course my 3D Fiber Plus mascara and be ready to go. I'll post my completed look later today, but enjoy this great tip and let me know what you think. I want to know if you try it.